the singles bar any better? No, but I don't go there either. You don't go anywhere. You're 25 years old. You and your boyfriend, you've been broken up for six months and you sit home every night. When are you going to get back into the world? I don't know. Soon. Well, you must be lonely. <laughs> are you serious? Talking with the women in the shop all day, taking classes all night, the foreign film screenings, my lecture discussion groups. My goodness, I'm busy every second. I didn't ask you if you were busy. I asked you. Here comes Didman's 2-2 pitch to Marino. Fastball popped up in the air. Second baseman, yeah, Morales Fred. coming over. Hey, what are you down. doing? Big Red Escondido's coming up to bat. <laughs> hey, didn't you used to play with him? Yeah, that's right. Of course, he used to turn up the stairs just like you did. And he wears a hearing aid now, but... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Big Red from the old days. Used to run around with a wild little blonde. Some kind of starlet. Got his name in the paper all the time. Yeah, didn't we all? Well, what are you, complaining? The rest of us should have it as hard as you did then. Fred. You know what your trouble is? You're encapsulated. Say what? Yeah, you live in this narrow little world, believe it or not. I mean, there's more out there than sports and women. Like what? Well, uh, I don't know, but uh, I got a hunch it's out there. Hey, what's out there, big buddy? Cha-Cha and her cousin who's coming by to meet you. What's Cha-Cha's cousin like? Like Cha-Cha, only younger and hotter. How young? You. Fresh. Untouched. Almost. Fred, how young? Don't worry about it. She likes older guys. Ah, didn't I tell you? Isn't that something? Look at that. That certainly is something. I told you, Fred. What do you mean by? Where are you going? Downtown, I have some business. Business? What kind of business? Are you crazy? Standing right there are two luscious, anxious, desirable young ladies. Hand it to us on a silver platter. What more could you want? A lot more. Hey! I'd like to find a nice lady. Good looking, wouldn't hurt. <laughs> someone that's, uh, someone that's real. Someone that has her head screwed on right in. So... Cut! What's the matter? It doesn't read, Marty. It's not going to work. What? The image, hon. Look, you come here and you say to me, Lisa, I want to use a service to find the kind of woman I don't normally meet, right? Yeah, right. And I say to you, what kind of woman is that, Marty? And you say to me, someone who can think. You sound like you're doing a beer commercial, Marty. Oh, you know. You mean about the uh, part about having her head screwed on, right? That part and others. <sighs> Tommy? Lisa, why do you keep doing this to me? You ruined another beautiful take. I had this guy looking like Steve Garvey. I've got news for you, chum. If Mr. Yost catches you playing with the equipment again, your name is Mud. My name is Crandall. It's a curse after beer. Tommy, spare me the monologue. You know, if only I had a real name, like Feline, or DeSico, or Scorsese. What do you want? Less Steve Garvey, more... Arthur Miller. Yeah. One order of intellectual lighting coming up. All right, take a look at this, Marty. Uh, this is me? No. This is the man who will attract the girl you're looking for. What I'm looking for is a wholesome, intellectual, sensitive woman with a good sense of humor. And she should be compassionate, uh, enjoy Chinese food, and be able to drive a stick shift so we can split the driving when we go away on uh, long weekend trips. Sounds romantic. What would you like to tell her about yourself, Marty? Well, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm, uh, I'm warm, uh, open, 